हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू मल्टी मैजिक चैनल माई सेल्फ इज फनी होप एवरी वन हैड ए वेरी गुड न्यू ईयर एंड आई विश फ्रॉम आवर टीम ए वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर फॉर ऑल द व्यूवर्स एंड सब्सक्राइबर्स सो लेट्स जम्प इन टू द टूडेज कंटेंट सो एक्चुअली लास्ट वीक वी हैव सीन हाउ टू फ्लैश द इमेज ऑन टू द रेसबेरी पाई बोर्ड एंड हाउ टू बिल्ड लाइब्रेरीज और बाइनरीज ऑन द होस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म एंड deploy to the target platform uh, and then we seen uh, how to come what are cross compilers and how to build ffmpeg from sources with the help of cross compilers so this is what we have seen last week we have seen how to build ffmpeg from sources for raspberry pi and uh, all the details image details of the raspberry pi details already we have covered in the last video so this is what we have done so this is a cross compiler i am using arc linux gnu and this is a architecture target architecture and this is a target operating system type and these are the minimum basic things we need to 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 build ffmpeg without any dependencies uh but in general ffmpeg provides lot of external libraries so let's say if you want to convert mp4 to mp3 you need to ensure you build ffmpeg with this particular library called mp3 lim or if you want to convert uh, any x264 support for your videos you need this lib x264 and if you want to convert your videos from x264 to x265 uh, you need this library support so like that uh, ffmpeg has internally lot of supports for the various codecs but externally also they do provide lot of support in the as a part of the framework the only thing is we need to explicitly build these dependencies uh, which will be late in, uh, later used by the ffmpeg so here is a list of encoders or the external libraries for now we have built from the sources so lib, lib aom lib blu ray tab 1d fdk ac free type mp3 so these are all the dependencies we are building from sources with the help of the scripts we have developed and once after developing i mean after generating the after running the scripts we get these particular libraries so these are all compatible for the target arc 64 because we are running building all the dependencies from sources with the help of cross compilers which i have shown in the earlier slide so now after all the libraries are generated we need to ensure we have enabled that particular libraries or the external libraries in the ffmpeg so this is how the configuration looks like now so you need to ensure where the installation goes and you need to enable the cross compile you need to ensure mention these details you need to mention the cross prefix and these are the extra libraries and flags where our dependencies should be and these are all the linking libraries and these are all the additional extra libs needed to uh, build so uh, like ffmpeg libraries so all those basic details you need to give and you need to ensure that this particular uh, any things are enabled and also ensure the package configuration path is correct okay so these are the things we need to take care while building ffmpeg using cross compilers so now at the end we have generated these libraries uh, ffmpeg libraries lib av code av device av filter av format so these are all the different uh, libraries generated from the ffmpeg sources so we have covered how to build ffmpeg libraries from sources for the cross compilers with the dependencies enabled and also building those dependencies from the sources so finally we also ran the multi magic app on our r5 platform so this is the m uh, magic r5 3 server one this is our r5 server actually on that server we have deployed our multi magic app i am just cross checking okay this is the architecture supported and now i went and ran this particular command which is kind of converts an mp4 to mp3 so and the conversion is done it's good so this particular future depends upon libmp3 lim so this is also kind of proof that we have successfully integrated the external library into the ffmpeg and we have built the libraries and that libraries we are using into our app so this is like a three layers are there so below is the 
at bot at top layer it is ffmpeg and uh, i mean at the top layer it is dependencies and the second layer is ffmpeg and then pre using all those things into the application binding all those things into the application okay so now this is and we are happy actually today and we are also proud like we are able to build our multi magix application as of now it contains a very simple feature like mp4 to mp3 but we are we are very happy and very proud and very excited because we are able to achieve that for multiple platforms and multiple architectures and for few platforms the work is in progress for example we have categorized our uh, target architectures into three categories so one is console category mobile category and embedded under console we have linux mac and windows and under mobile ios and android and under embedded rp just now we have seen and these are the architectures we have tested and verified our application so on linux this application is verified on the spectral architecture and for mac it is verified on x86 64 and arm 64 architectures for windows the work is in progress i mean building ffmpeg from sources dependencies and then later generating our application all those work is in progress and same stands for ios and for ios also with the help of cross compilers we are building it on the mac and for windows we will be doing it from the windows laptop and for the android we have already tested for all these platforms few actually on the devices and few architectures with the help of the simulators i mean android emulators and just now we have seen we have tested our mm map on this particular architecture arc 64 which is converting mp4 to mp3 okay so this matrix keeps growing i mean in the sense from not from the platform point of view from the kind of different architectures might come into the picture like uh, maybe for linux some other architectures come and mac in future of mac OS supports uh, other architectures that also comes into the picture so we'll try to whatever architectures comes falls under that particular platform so we'll try to up our platform for all those uh, architectures so this is a pretty much interesting and we'll try to share the progress regarding the windows and ios and as you know see as you have seen now the in the, in the previous slide as you have seen the application is running on multiple platforms now so to ensure on which platform and the good thing is we are building all these from a single source so here we have single source code and we just run the scripts and it generates libraries for all the platforms which are platforms are already there so that is the beauty of this thing and now in order to test this particular application for uh, whether all the features are working fine or not we need to come up with a particular test framework so for now we just this is a simple Python test script which just uh, launches our this particular command where it does the actual application so we will grow this test suit and lot of test cases will be added into it and going forward we will also develop a test framework such that multiple platforms can use the same platform or the same framework and they can take they can go ahead and simply run the test cases which covers everything okay so the plan is to develop a test framework with the help of some libraries in the python for now we just started with a simple framework or a simple script which tests our mp4 to mp3 on multiple platforms and also as you as you can see we are we will build multiple features in in the coming days and to ensure the quality of those Futures we will also using different frameworks gtest and gmock so where we can mock the objects and then classes and then we can unit test those particular things and then down the line see and also we'll come up with a different validation tools like audio and video parses so the plan here is everything to be part of a CACD pipeline so you develop the code you, you ensure you test it on all platforms with the help of framework and also ensure you have you, you have unit test which helps to check that piece of code for multiple platforms and also our validation tools like whether the video quality is good number of frames audio quality audio things whether any loss of data like all those validation tools also we are trying to develop 
so like a typical development process what are all the things we need to take care like different software development life cycle continuous integration continuous deployment so from those point of view also we're trying to bring in bring in all the tools and validations which are required so yeah this is about the test framework yeah i think uh, that's all for today video and as i mentioned we'll be in the next video we'll be coming with some interesting uh, topics and then regarding the uh, extension of this particular things and we'll try to uh, share more details on this particular things until then bye bye take care see you